What's up guys? So today we're going to be talking about EIE subtypes in DC and H. So obviously people will say, right, Beta Quadra is the best Quadra and EIE, obviously everyone loves EIEs, right? Now most EIEs are IEs, we already have that established, so no problemo moving forward. Now let's start with EIE D, which is dominant. Okay. Probably you're confused. You're thinking, well, Rust, why are you using the word dominant in the same sentence as EIE? Well, I'm going to tell you this. This is the only time the word dominant and the word EIE can ever coexist in one sentence. The dominant EIE is kind of like the ENTJ, INTJ mastermind who seemingly has all the power of manipulation, huge ego, inflated sense of self, and can plan ahead. Of course, he is very smart, so he's an INTJ. That's literally how this shit works. Think of this as the Charles Manson type. Very charismatic, a cult leader of sorts, right? Uh, more organized, more demanding. They can cosplay as other types, like uh, SLE, for example. So watch out, there can be some cosplay happening. Very charismatic and able to command uh, respect in other people, to move other people in certain way, to lead people. So this is the more of that daddy dom EIE, as weird as that seems, right? But what I like about Model G is that they make impossible things possible. So... So, uh, yeah, we all love it. EIED also can be a person who is very ideological in their mission, a person who might seek justice, right? Social justice or inf influence certain ideology on the environment, lead people into revolutions, uh, create things, destroy things, and still change in the environment is something that the dominant subtype can easily do. Not compromising as easily be much more demanding and much more aggressive in pursuit of the things they want. This is more of that grounded and pragmatic and action-oriented EIE. At least that's what it seems. More conscientious, more organized, more structured, a person who can make plans into fruition. Simple as that. And I know this is like the go-to cosplaying type for an EIE. No, you're not Charles Manson, which I'm not sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but probably it's a good thing. Although the funny thing about an EIED is that they would think, well, Charles Manson, yeah, despite all of his bad things he did, at least he had pull and he was a card leader. I would like to be a card leader. So that's something that the EIED will be thinking about. Well, you know, considering that maybe I am EIE dominant. Man, big daddy dom EIE. Maybe we can make it work. We could make anything work if you really try hard enough. So EIE creative, there's not much that I can really find uncreative, other than that they're cosplayers. So um, every every EIE will cosplay as something, but this is the ultimate cosplayer, and they're the archetype of an actor. So very emotional, Very this is over the top with everything. Very flighty, very emotional, very unstructured, very non-committal. You see what I'm getting here? It's easy peasy, right? Changing moods from one situation to another. It's a great cosplayer who thinks his life is just one big play in Shakespeare. And obviously, if you tell them, hey, this is really not the reality, maybe you should kind of adapt to reality. They'll just be like, you, you're a hater, you're trying to stop me from creating a TikTok account, something like that. Obviously, it's kind of cringe. But more any here, you see more any, so it, more of that idea orientation, possibilities, opportunities. So this is probably a type that, yeah, probably will have many different ideas bouncing in their head, and they might seem very spurgy. I We can assume this EIE... Uh, will seem like an IE, most likely, right? So this is how we, it might be confusing, but more disorganized, you know, in general, just more chasing possibilities and probably not acting on all of them because, you know, being a cosplay is a full-time fucking job. They want to be original. They want to be unique. They, they want to be rebellious. They want to go against the mainstream and kind of do their own thing. I'm going to... Sorry, there was something flying, you know? That's, that's how it goes. Everything's flying here. Every, every time I record a video, there's some shit flying. Like, what's next? What's next? What, what's going to be flying next? What is this? Come on. I keep eliminating them, and they keep appearing. What the fuck? Do, is there a nest here? So, EIE normalizing. This is the Ube geek. This is the great thinker, Nietzsche, right? Is it? Is, I don't know how you pronounce his name, Nietzsche, 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 whatever you pronounce his name, he was a geek, that's the point. And, he's, he, and this is considered EIE normalizing. So, 
understanding people's motivations, understanding the pr mor uh, moral implications of different situations, being much more thoughtful individual, being able to be a mentor, to be much more consistent and to have a role of a teacher to teach other people. So this is the least, this is the least of a dumb fuck. This is the least dumb fuck IAE. But also there, they can be moral police. So you need to watch out for this or like ethical police, right? If you are behaving in maybe in some inappropriate fashion, sorry, EIE normalizing Big Daddy Dom might come to you and be like, oh, you shouldn't act this way. This is really bad and impolite because you acted in an inappropriate way. So they may start doing that, right? Kind of make you feel a certain way because you uh, acted inappropriately when they really don't appreciate that. So you should watch your tone sacrifice themselves for others or also like stop others from uh, behaving in, in uh, unethical and immoral fashion with normalizing you know more consistent uh, there's fear of making mistakes to be more thoughtful emotional like any other type uh, as emotional as any other EIE you cannot escape from that sorry that's just the burden you need to carry paying attention to small details and this is because the normalizing that's what normalizing does it's like it turns every it turns every fucking subtype into LSI, pseudo LSI. That's what it does. Gives you more consistent and more structured, more thoughtful and more analytical approach, which is why the EIE normalizing is that more of the geeky thinker, philosophical thinker, right? Easy peasy, lemonade squeezy. Then we have EIE harmonizing. Uh, newsflash, there's no such thing as harmonizing. It actually does not exist. What is EIE harmonizing? Well, I have another name for EIE harmonizing and the name is AI because that's what the shit is. Okay, SLE harmonizing is not an SLE, it's an SLI. So very imaginative, more focus on the future into some weird creepy shit, right? Unusual interests, you know, some might call it unusual, I call it daily, which is astrology basically. Focus on hidden meanings, this is turbocharged and I. Hidden meanings, implications and the future, obsessiveness in the future, which can cause overthinking, it can cause paranoia. But another thing is that the permission, the focus on the future can be negative. So it's not a positive focus on the future, but quite negative vision of the future. They're spending so much time thinking, right? There's so much time in the head. They're spending so much time in the head. And, and all of that negativity and all of that, those, and the more pessimistic visions lead to them being a set cunt, obviously. More patient, very good in, with people, I would say. Very, the energy is more cool and collected. They're the least spurgy. They're the least monkey and the least spurgy EIE, which is a good thing. Very distrustful of new information that doesn't really align with their worldview. So it almost seems like an IR, right? Like TE Polar. Very distrustful with any information that's not aligned with what they think. Wow, geniuses. Slow uh, to make decisions. Again, there's so much difficulty in making decisions when there's a lot of options. So they don't know what to commit to and always being scared of making the wrong decision and how it's going to affect them in the future. This is like a, cl a classical, probably SP6 or something. I know it's crazy, but in the Gulenko land, anything is possible. And that's why we love Gulenko, because anything is possible with Gulenko. I can be SLI5 core and you can be EIE SP6. It all works and I love him for it. Harmonizing is that peaceful twerp wants to have a stable life, but they're uh, un they're not very demanding. They're much more kind of easygoing. They're much more, there's more aside there, right? Being that of a cozy sloth individual, which is weird as I Polo, but that's kind of how that works. They're just cozy. They want to get cozy. They're not demanding. They're disorganized. Again, um, if you are the subtype, you're probably an IEI. And that's it. You know, we love, thank you, Gulenko, for really changing our lives in typology. I feel like without you, None of this would be the same. The Gulenko, you are the big daddy dom of typology. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Anyway, this is it for today. Stay tuned, boys. And ciao.